Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about oral manifestations of syphilis. Syphilis is also called Lewis. Syphilis is a banal disease. It is a sexually transmitted disease. It is transmitted by sexual encounters. And the organism for syphilis is the Trypanoma pallidum, that is a spirochet bacteria. And it is inoculated to the skin or mucous membrane. So it takes several weeks to manifest as Schenker, maybe 3 to 90 days. Around 3 months is, is the average duration the incubation period so primary disease is called shanker duration for weeks then it heals there's a latent phase no lesion weeks secondary disease secondary syphilis will get mucous patches rash condylomata latum or condyloma latum duration weeks to month then it may be relapsed or may go to latent phase, no lesion for weeks. Then we have the tertiary syphilis, there will be gamma, syphilitic gamma, that may be a destructive ulcer, may be swelling and ulcer. Then cardiovascular disease, may be aortic aneurysm. And neurosyphilis, it may be general paralysis of insane. It may be tabis dorsali, charcoal tabis dorsalis with the manifestation of tabis dorsalis. There may be dementia, and we may have also have joint, it's called the charcoal joint without any sensory innervation. Okay, so it will have benign tertiary syphilis here gamma then cardiovascular syphilis then neurosyphilis so primary syphilis and that is manifested by shankar a painless indurated ulcer with rolled margin at the site of inoculation usual site is the penis in man in women it should be around the vulva or the cervix or the periurethral area but in case of the altered sexual behavior like oral sex it may be in the lip maybe inside the mouth cavity in the tongue maybe in the palate maybe in the tonsils also but usually it is on the male genitalia maybe on the penis maybe on the scrotum Okay, but it should not be in the mouth, but in case of altered sexual behavior, it may be in the mouth, the shanker. There is no exudate here, no regional lymph, there, there are no exudate here, but there is regional lymph adenopathy. Lymph node will be enlarged in the local area. If it is in, in the genital ear, then inguinal lymph node, in case of the shanker of the upper lip here we may have some mandibular lymph node enlargement so there is regional lymphadenopathy heals within two to ten week with little or no scarring there will be no scarring of this shanker so this may be inside the mouth maybe here on the lip but common site is the genitally of the male and female Okay, we'll go to the oral manifestation of syphilis. Here we have the secondary syphilis. Okay, we have the mucocutaneous rash, mucopapular skin rash throughout the entire body, including the palm and sole in around 80% cases. So we look at the palm, we may get there the mucopapular rash there. We have the mucocutaneous lesions, generalized lymphadenopathy, and flu like symptoms. That is, the constitutional problem will develop in 
the secondary syphilis. Syphilis is also called Lewis. Lewis. Okay, so we continue on secondary syphilis, mucus patches, mucus ulcer with mucus exuded of secondary syphilis here. And this is very much loaded with tibonoma pellidum. Tibonoma pellidum is also present in the shanker because it is the site of inoculation. Then it is distributed to the entire body. And here in the mucus patch, you have a lot of tibonoma pellidum organism. Here, mucus patch secondary syphilis circumscribed white plaque on the lower labial mucosa here. This is the mucosal patch, mucus patch of the secondary syphilis, like this. This is the mucus patch of secondary syphilis. Okay. And in the secondary syphilis, our serological test will be positive. All the serological tests will be positive. Here we are continuing on secondary syphilis, condylometer later here. These are multiple, may give the idea of the trail of a, of a snake, multiple ulcer, ulcerative type bump we are seeing here. This is the condylometer later. It May be it is usually present in the genitalia with hypopigmentation, pigmentation pattern. But in case of altered sexual behavior, it may be inside the tongue like this. Okay. Here, this is also a sign of secondary syphilis. That is also condyloma later, condyloma later here. We will go to the tertiary syphilis here. Tertiary syphilis, it happens after many years of secondary syphilis. So, by three months, we should have primary syphilis. By 10 weeks, okay, we, we may, after the, after the primary syphilis shankle, around 10 weeks later, we will get the secondary syphilis. Then, after three, four years, maybe many years back, we'll get tertiary syphilis. There is some variation between the gaps. Aortic aneurysm is a feature of tertiary syphilis. We may have, we call it cardiovascular syphilis. There may be incompetence of the ascending aorta. Arch of the aorta may be abnormally dilated. That may be rupture that may kill a person on the spot. Aortic aneurysm, neurosyphilis. There is a possibility we may have general paralysis of insane. We have dementia. We have motor and sensory problems, especially to the lower limb. And certainly we may have tabes dorsalis. That is also possible. So we have benign tertiary syphilis in gamma. We'll get gamma just like swelling. Then there is destructive ulcer. Okay, so that is the gamma. Gamma is a chronic inflammatory mass. Okay, so it is caused destructive ulcer like this. It may there may be a gap, a hole in the hard pellet. So we are in the nasal cavity here. I'm seeing the turbinate here. Okay, conquer. This is the nasal cavity. This is the hard pellet. It has been opened up this disease process that may be also present in the soft palate. We may have multiple sometimes. We may have multiple ulcers. We may have another one in the soft palate is also possible. Okay, we'll go to the congenital syphilis. Oral and maxillary facial pathology for edition has shown that our incisive teeth will be like this, notched like this. We, may, we will have mulberry, molar, and premolar teeth here. Okay. So, Hutchinson's teeth, here it is also called screwdriver teeth. Okay. Like this, we have the, here the molar, we have the mulberry shape, appearance. These are the features of congenital syphilis. Dentition exhibiting crowns tapering towards the 
incisal edges. Okay, here we are looking congenital syphilis, mulberry molar, and nosed incisors. Okay, so in our congenital syphilis or Lewis, we'll find out the Hutchinson's Hutchinson's triad. There is interstitial keratitis. There will be there will be pathology in the cornea. So there will be new blood vessel formation in the cornea, and the vision will be obscured due to obstruction in the cornea. Vestibular cochlear nerve lesion, especially cochlear nerve. It will lead to hearing loss. Vestibular nerve lesion will lead to imbalance, loss of equilibrium. Malformed teeth, mulberry molar, Hutchinson's incisors. So these are the features of interstitial. This is the features of Hutchinson's triad that indicates congenital syphilis. This association of that of the congenital syphilis. This is mulberry. Mulberry, syph syph mulberry molar teeth. Okay, this is the manifestation of the congenital syphilis. There will be defective growth of the teeth, the amyloblast growth that is that is causing this mulberry appearance. And that's all about the presentation on the oral manifestation of the syphilis caused by trypanosoma pallidum another name of the syphilis is lues l u e s so once it is diagnosed it should be treated properly by means of the procain acid plus proven acid if the acid is not if, if the penicillin is not tolerable to the person then we have alternate medication is doxycycline and we do our test of syphilis by drawing the cerebrospinal fluid. We do two tests. One is the BDRL test, another one is the fluorescent triponome antibody absorb test. Okay, we can also watch, we also look at the spirochet under the microscope, dark field, field microscopy, or it can be identified by silver staining. But best is the BDRL, and the I mean the better is the BDRL, the Benal Disease Research Laboratory. But the best is the fluorescence triponoma antibody absorb test. And that's all about the oral manifestation of syphilis. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends, and please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice and wonderful day. Bye now.